Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Delphine and today we are going to have a look at my latest Cezanne order. So I had a little 15 euro uh, reduction coupon that I had to use before mid of January and they released very conveniently <laughs> on the 14th um, new collection and I thought that's that's perfect. I got this coupon when they had their pop-up store in Munich and I went there, I got this little tote bag and Munich, Munich Mon Amour and they also gave us, um, I mean not just me, I went also with some friends, everybody got a little card with a little um, one-time code for a 15 euro reduction. So if Cezanne opens a pop-up in the city where you live, um, just know it's also worth going there because well, first you can browse through the collection, but if you purchase something, normally you might also get a free tote bag and uh, potentially also 15 euro reduction on your next order. So that can be quite interesting. Um, it was a very nice new collection, but a lot of pastels and pastel are not s always so much my thing. I mean, this is like, let's say the most pastel I would go and they had a lot of things which are a bit more pastel than that, but I still found a few, a few nice uh, gems that I wanted to try. And I'm going to start with the first one. I'm going to show you in the video how I, how I wore it. It's uh, this shirt. It's called Rim and it's 100% cotton. I took it in the size 34. I typically take a Cezanne shirt one size smaller than I wear. They also say it on their website to go for one size smaller and this is what I do. And so I'm normally a 36, but so I went for a 34. Um, it's very, very pretty. I had ordered it um, this winter. They had it in uh, Burgundy. And I mean, it was so pretty. I hesitated so much to, uh, with keeping it. But then I found that with the lace and everything, it was maybe a bit too too dark somehow. Um, and it was the lace and the dark and, and also it's with this high neck and so on. It, it was a bit less my style. Um, so when I saw that they had it in this little, uh, this little kind of, of pink, dusty pink, you see, like compared to the pink I'm wearing, it, it's not that vibrant and it's it's a kind of color I love. Um, I thought, well, I, I have to give it a try. And I don't know what you think about it. I also show it to you uh, worn out of the um, of my pants just to show you how it looks like. But I would wear it tucked in because I'm small and I don't know, it does not look so good on me, I feel like when it's not tucked in. Um, yeah, I don't know what you think. Um, it feels very nice. It's a very soft cotton, very light, very nice to wear. Um, I would, so you can of course wear it with a neck top. I will wear it a bit more open because I like to wear my shirt a bit more open in the front. I generally like to wear to have a bit more open front um, clothes. So I think it's just also a matter of time and maybe when I wash it next time and I iron it and just to, that it takes a bit more of this, of this open shape. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what you think. I'm, I'm a bit hesitating because on the other hand, I don't know if it's not a bit too much and um, it's also a lot of transparency, right? Because there is no, so the, it's just the lace, right? Uh, through the lace, you can see everything. But at the same time, as you can see on the video, at the end, you don't really see much unless you come two millimeter away and you really try to look and then, then you're just a creep. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. I don't know what you think uh, about it. Um, I'll put it there. Um, then the second thing I ordered was this um, jacket. Oh, this jacket, it's, just, it's more like this pullover. It's called Basil. It retails for 120 euro. It's this big, big, big pullover. Um, let me check again. I think it was uh, something like baby alpaca and merinos. Um, let me check. Yeah, 55% alpaca, 30% polyamide, and 15% wool. And the polyamide is mostly recycled fibers. And it's made in Italy. Um, I have, um, it's not exactly the same one, but a similar kind of vibe uh, in pink, in a bit of darker pink that I ordered with my last thing. And I thought I would just wear it here and there. And I ended up wearing it a lot actually. I I like this. I think the v-neck is just perfect because it's not too deep, not too open. It's it's the right kind of v-neck. The length is perfect, um, as you can see for me at least. It's not too long, not too short. And so I ended up wearing the other one a lot. So when I saw this one, I thought, why not giving it a go? Because I like also navy blue. And um, I like also, so this is funny because often I complain about Cezanne with this kind of balloon sleeves. 
but here because I made the end a bit like this so it, it stuck and it does not do it too much really I feel like this is also the, the right kind of length it's actually quite soft like so I'm wearing this Caspar I feel it's a bit softer than the Caspar for example um, in comparison so yeah I don't know what you what you think I'm, I'm tempted important information I took it in XXS so I went two size smaller than my normal size normally I'm kind of a S maybe in, a bit in between an X and an S um, Cezanne I often take XS because I often say to take one size smaller than your usual size here they just say to take one size smaller but when I saw it worn uh, on the website I saw it's this kind of a bit oversized things and um, with my frame, I'm a petite, I'm, five, I'm one meter fifty-eight or five foot two, five feet two. <laughs> um, I thought no, I will go for two size smaller, and I think that was the right call. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I like it. Um, it's a strong contender. I've just noticed already when I opened it out of the package. This is one thing that makes me hesitate. Also, I don't know if you will see here a bit maybe. So the fiber will catch all. All kind of, of little flying thing here, there's a little white thing. I mean, it's not that much, but here there's, here there's more, you see a white thing here, a little thing here. It's not dirt, I mean, you, you can just pick and uh, pick it and take it out, but I don't know. I have two small kids, they make a lot of little crumbs and things around, and if I end up spending my day taking crumbs out of my pullover, I'm going to get annoyed. So this is one thing that, that makes me hesitate a bit. And another thing is I find, I don't know, I think it's maybe the style, but Cezanne, they often do very nice uh, buttons, you know, and I find they're a bit boring right now. I mean, the very simple plastic button. Um, they don't feel particularly high quality or anything. They just feel like basic, simple plastic navy blue buttons. So, yeah, I don't know. Then I have a shirt. Um, it's called Anira. I took it in the size 34. <coughs> Again, my usual size for Cezanne shirts. It was asked for 115 euro, and it's one of the 100% silk uh, shirts. So I already own a few. I've always been very happy with the quality of their silk shirts. I know they also have some which are polyester or, vi or viscose. I think sometimes um, I don't own any of these, so I, I don't know about the quality of these because so prices have increased. I think last year. The silk shirts were more around 110 euro, and now I paid 115. Um, but as far as I remember, so I did not, I did not compare now with a with a visco shirt. But the visco shirts are not much cheaper. They may be 10 euro cheaper, and to be honest, for 10 euro difference, I rather have 100% silk. So, yeah, it's this one. Um, I loved, loved, loved this little detail. When I ordered it, I don't know why on the website. Maybe because they show it with a woman. She's wearing a, a pink pant. I thought it had a bit more pink undertones in the brown, but it's actually a kind of true brown. And um, I don't know, I think it still looks nice, it still looks good, but somehow at the moment I was more, I'm, at the moment in my shopping I tend heavily towards uh, berry tones, um, eventually burgundy, pinks, dark pinks, and navy blue. Um, and so I was a bit disappointed that there was none of these undertones. On the other hand, it still looks nice. So I I don't know what what do you think? Maybe so far I think it was only in this color. I mean, in the new collection there was only this color. Maybe they will make further more colors in the future. Maybe I should wait and see if there are some other colors. Um, I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> But you need back on the side and moving on to the next piece. So this is not new. Um, it does in, oops, something fell since quite some times. Um, I had never ordered it. I'm not exactly sure why because it looks nice. But I think I always thought it would look not so maybe not fit me so good. But today I thought why not? It's this one. It's um, Ambroise. And it retails for 95 euros. Um, it's, I think, I don't know what the material is actually. It's a good question. It's 72% viscose and 28% polyester. It's uh, very, very um, stretchy. I'm not stretching it to the max because I don't want to damage it. It has this little um, uh, nice uh, thing. 
um, also nice little detail. I took, so as I said on the website, take one size smaller, so I did, and I took XS, which is basically like 34 in the other things, and I think it's too small. Um, I don't think what, I don't know what you think, I mean, it's meant um, to be tight, for sure, but you feel here on the button um, that the buttons are like fighting for their survival, <laughs> and this is not really a look that I'm going for, at least. Um, and it's also very, very open, actually, so there is not much, that's what I would try to show you, not much fabric on the shoulder, so it's a bit like the Gaspar, you know, so if you wear an, um, um, how is it called, bra, uh, you have to put the straps of your bra quite to the end, <laughs> or wear another kind of bra, <laughs> because it's, yeah, it just goes a tiny bit on your shoulder on the, at the end. Um, it's really, it's, I find it nice, it's soft, it's comfortable and everything. Um, again, it's just, I think, one size too small for me. Uh, so I I don't know, maybe I will see in spring if I order it one size bigger. Uh, that could be. Also, I found the sleeves were, funnily, a tiny bit short on me, which happens almost never. You saw with your previous shirt, I mean, they're all a bit long, because, again, I'm a petite. And so this made me wonder if it's meant to be uh, something that stops at the middle of your forearm, maybe. Um, yeah, I think it depends also on the way you want to style it. You could also anyway pull it a bit up, especially if you wear it more for spring. It could look nice. So this is not so much of a big concern, but I want just to mention it in case you are tall or you have long arms, for example, that um, the arms are not that long. Um, it's also not very long in the length, um, which again for me is fine, but might be good to know if you are tall, um, that it might be a bit cropped on you if you are tall. Okay, then um, another one, oh, this one, I ordered, I don't think I'm going to keep it, full disclosure, because I already have the need for something like that, and I already have slightly similar stuff, but when I saw it, I was like, it looks so, so pretty, and it's this, look at how it shines, <laughs> and it went all dark, the shining thing made my, made my camera go all dark, it's so shiny, it, it feels like wearing liquid gold, um, it's a kitty blues, um, in color light gold, it's retails for 110 euro, which I find is surprisingly not that expensive for a full glittered thing compared to all the other articles I've been showing you so far. Uh, I found the price actually very, really fair. I ordered it in a size 34. I think it's the right size. It's meant to have a bit of this oversized uh, filling on the side, but from the shoulder and the lens and on the bust area, I think it's uh, it's the right uh, size. And the the density of the glitter is very nice. Uh, they feel very pretty. It's of course heavier, but also not too heavy. It's completely uh, inside this, this cotton thing, which is very comfortable. You also see it a bit on the top uh, when you wear it on the neck. Uh, you see it a bit in the back. There's this one button, which was not so easy to close because I was always so afraid to grab uh, some of the glitter and pull on some of the glitter and damage it. Um, so it has these little sleeves like this. I don't know. It, it's it's very pretty. It feels very comfortable. It, it really feels like wearing liquid gold. It's gorgeous. Um, the thing is, as I said, I, I already have glitter tops. Um, and I tend, as I said also previously, I tend to like things which are maybe sometimes a bit more open in the front or... Um, and this, this is... This is not. <laughs> very simply put. Um, I would have hesitated much more, I think, if it would have been v-necked, but I wanted to give it a try and at least to show it to you. And yeah, it's it's really pretty. I cannot say much for the long-term quality, in particular with the glitter, whether they will hold or not. So when I received it, I, I had a look, I'm, I'm looking again now. I, I did not see any glitter that would have gotten damaged already in the transport or something like that. So I think it's, it will hold, but only time can tell. And I put it preciously back on the side. And um, last but not least, we have this shirt, which is called Clo. So I took it in size 34 as usual. And I think, if I'm not wrong, it's a 100% silk. Let me confirm it. Yes, 100% silk. And um, they do it in a lot of colors. Uh, they also have it, I think, in the new collection in pale blue, in, in, in pastel blue, a sky, very light blue, which looked also very pretty, but again, it's not so much my colors. Um, but they had in navy blue, and this is more my, more my vibe. 
And yeah, it's it's very pretty. I hesitated. I think oh, did I? Yeah, I think I tried it. I wonder if I tried it or if or if I left it in my in my wish list at the end. Or maybe they didn't have my size anymore. I don't remember. Um, in dark forest green, it was very pretty. Uh, somehow, but somehow I was not so convinced by that color. I feel this is maybe a bit a bit nicer or a bit a color I would wear maybe a bit more. Um, I'm still just hesitating. So first, one thing is that the lace goes only until here, as you could see in the video, which actually I'm kind of fine with, but on, I'm hesitating whether it's okay or whether it looks a bit weird in real life, I don't know. Um, and the other thing is, so I will wear it a bit more with one button closed more, otherwise I think, I think you have to find the right opening way, basically. Uh, otherwise, I feel it looks a bit weird in the in the neck area with the way the lace uh, puts itself. Uh, it's not so easy to find a way that it looks that it looks good actually. Um, at least I was not I did not find it so easy. Um, I don't know what you think. I also showed it to you, of course, untucked so that you can see the whole length of of the shirt as always. Um, yeah, I don't know what you think. I feel also the sleeves are a bit more having this balloon effect that I'm not the biggest fan of. So overall, I don't know. Um, I like I like the different style with the lace here. I find it's nice. I like the color. I'm just not so sure how how I will manage to concretely wear it in everyday life. Um, I don't know. If you own some of the clo uh, shirts, just tell me how 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 are you wearing wearing them? How do you put it? Do you close them maybe completely? I don't I don't think that's the the idea, but maybe actually. Um, just tell me, I'm curious. If you own also any of the other pieces and you have any comments, then please tell tell me also in the comment section below. If you've ordered also some other pieces of the of the new collection, tell me how how it was, how you liked them. Um, one piece I found very pretty, and I did not get because again I'm more at the moment into um, oh, I'm losing one here. <laughs> yeah, I'm more into into open front things. They have this body with this open back in burgundy, and it was. Yeah, I was really hesitating, but the problem is I have some open back uh, pullovers or tops and I don't wear them a lot because I really wear bras almost all the time and it's always annoying, right, with open back. How do you wear a bra with an open back? You don't. And so, yeah, so that's a bit my problem um, with, with the fact that I was more close in the front, but it looked gorgeous. It really looks very, very nice. So, yeah. That was it for this video. I don't know what you think. What should I keep? What should I send back? Um, tell me in the comment section below. Also, if you have, as I said, experience with some of these articles, uh, please tell me in the, the section below. And um, yeah, if you've enjoyed this video and you would like to see more of them, then of course you can subscribe to my channel and I will also put another video in case you have not seen it yet. And I will see you then maybe in another video. Have a nice day. Bye, guys.